Olympus. Welcome back to the Reggie's podcast. Here with three blokes. Could have been anything. Decided to have fun instead. Boys, rugby league, AFL, Super Bowl, UFC, specifically Volkanovski, mm. boxing, surfing, cricket. It's all coming up. It's all happening. Huge. Episode. It is all happening. Hope everyone's had a cracking weekend. Jace had a blinder down the sunny coast. I did. Massive weekend. Big 21st. Yeah, yeah that's right. So, he uh, still goes to 21st. Yes, I'm not even 21 myself. I can hope. That's, yeah, that's, that's huge. The, We've that's all the got, good old days, man. Yeah, we've all got 30th this year. Yeah. <laughs> Jace is going yeah. to 21st. It's getting peppered with weddings. <laughs> yeah. Out, out. Every can't weddings having kids. Weddings and yeah, just firing kids out willy nilly. Yeah. I love going to baby showers too. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, since when did baby showers become both cunts? Like, remember it used to be women. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah, it's yeah. everyone. Yeah, everyone needs to go. I think it's fine. Like, it's cool little environment and mm. a bit of a um, community when you've got kids yourself. Yeah, yeah. But then I just get invited to them all. To me, mates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just, I think it's just become like a bit, just another piss up. Yeah, I know. Which it I'm is, all about. Which is, which is fine. Mm. Yeah. I'd They're, love to contribute, boys, but I have no fucking idea. Yeah, so no, nah, you wouldn't. I've no. never been it'll, it'll come. Yours it'll was come. only a few years ago. <laughs> 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 but I, I just want to say, too, thank you, everyone, like honestly, for your feedback um, about the our last episode in the new studio. Obviously, there's a few teeth and things like, um, we sort of overlooked the obviously hard walls and it's a lot more enclosed. So mm. there's a bit echoey. We have um, ordered the sound deadening stuff and it will get better. We do listen to you guys and really appreciate your comments. So it, things will improve here. Um, but I'm glad that you like the actual show format. Great yeah. work very hard with it and I think it's mm. uh, going to be a winner moving forward. But just so you know, um, we have ordered sound deadening. So sound deadening your comments this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got a few up now, but we've got another fucking 30 or 40 on the way that we'll yeah. but bang up next week. Constant improvement. We do listen to you guys, so thanks for your feedback. Bloody oath. And thanks for being patient with last week's punch show. Mm. A little bit late, but hey, it fucking got out there. That's and everyone right. loved it. Think, there was a so. couple of little uh, couple of little winners that will cross off yeah. on, on Thursday. Thursday. So. Yep. Uh, yep. Oi, four in ones. Thanks, guys, for fucking getting around the four in ones. That was awesome. There's, I think we got a touch, a little tickle over a hundred of them left. So I think there's, yeah, there's between a hundred and a hundred and ten left, or yeah. something like that. So they've been absolutely drilled. I can't wait to see his pounding piss out of them in all four forms. Oh, um, yeah. But yeah, there's about a hundred left. So if you're keen, get amongst it. There's a fair yeah. few regs left, obviously. And, yeah, once again, can't thank you enough for supporting us. Yeah. 100%. That was awesome. We were uh, sort of mid-record as that drop happened. And, mm. yeah, it was just cool to see everyone get around, get involved. Yeah. They should be well, a few people to have them by Mate, now, the, all the big order from, like, the weekend and everything's all on its way. Yeah. It's just yeah, like yeah, the yeah, dregs yeah, now yeah, yeah. obviously get done every couple of days. But the big initial fucking hits all been sent. So. Yeah. Yeah. You were there for so the drop. Left. You're going to get it this week, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's it's in Oz Post hands now, which doesn't give any cunt any confidence. But <laughs> it's out of our hands. <laughs> oh, yeah. Put it that way. Today, mm. I ordered something. Fuck, must have been last week. Yep. Ordered it. Got the text this morning to say, uh, if no one's home, should we leave it in a safe spot? Reply with a Y for yes. Mm. Bang, straight away. I had my phone in my hand. Bang, replied. A couple of hours later, get an email. We tried to deliver your parcel and we've taken it to a nearby oh. <laughs> nearby facility. And I went, mm, I fucking good, hate it's that. Like, good it's system. Like, <laughs> it's like Chris Rock off Grown Ups where he's waiting for his mother-in-law to go for a shit and he runs up to the door and fucking <laughs> yeah. goes, oh, tried. <laughs> <Let's>, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good that analogy, my, that. Mm. It's a yeah, no, I just thought, mine, man. you know, that would have been great because it's a – Worth fucking hundred bucks or something. Of course, you can leave it wherever. Yeah, and they've got the system there to go. Do you want us to? Yes, please. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> the worst is when it's no, on a gonna. Friday half, and they yeah. just go, "Yep, you can have it on Monday. Come see us." Well, I don't go. Like, I won't be able to get it till Friday half because Monday to Thursday, I don't go back to Tanham until after we've done everything and it's mm. night time. But anyway, not to worry. <laughs> Oz Post is fantastic and we fucking love them. <laughs> I'm sure a few yeah. lads who were onto this, <coughs> Oz, oh, excuse me, a few lads who were onto Valentine's Day a bit early, um, 
would be using OzPost, but for all of us normal people who forget about the biggest piss take of a fucking day <laughs> on earth, <laughs> Valentine's Day, as you're listening to this, it is it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I just stopped in before here to go get the missus something with all the other last-minute blokes <laughs> at the mall. And I just want to say that I think that it's a joke that day. <laughs> Yeah, this could be a little reminder is, to you is, so you don't is. get in trouble with the missus. If you haven't got something yet, just go grab it now. Or <laughs> don't because who gives a fuck about yeah, it? Yeah, but, like if you, but it depends what they want too, you know. Like yeah. it, It's just <clears throat> is it to keep every flower grower in work? Just Valentine's Day? It would day? be the biggest oh. fucking day of the year for them. Oh, definitely. 100%. Is. <laughs> like if they can, Valentine's Day... All the flower growers or gardeners would just be up shit creek. Oh, roses weddings. would shit, go yeah. into extinction. Mm, roses would, yeah. It'd be a big hit. I uh, I agree with you. It is shit. But it's an excuse to go out for a feed and fucking... You, you, you're you pretty much pencil in a Ronnie coat too. <laughs> yeah, pencil in a Ronnie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, <laughs> back to the age gap thing, I'm... When I was twenty twenty one, you put a big effort in and all that, you know. But yeah, it now. is fun. Well, this is my you. first Valentine's with yeah. Molly, so I've I've got to put an effort in. That's yeah. right. Yeah. It does, it is Trim the bush a bit, it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trim this red bush up. Yeah, yes, yes, I, I did. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I've got out of it this year because when he's in Europe. So yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, be, it is it is a big thing when you new love. Yeah, you oh, love yeah, it. It's yeah, fun. Yeah. That's who it it's for. That's it should be. For. It should be an unwritten thing. Like once you get past a point, let's say married with four kids, it's sort of like <laughs> just um, a weird fucking choice there. No, I'm just being just random, just generic. Yeah, that's yeah. got nothing just to do generic. with anyone here. But like, if that was the case, it should just start to get less important. Well, it does for sure. It does. Yeah, yeah, she's not. She's not too big on it. But it's more just like fuck. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to be the one that forgets or think doesn't. about it like this. You're flat out all year. Mm. You got that much on all the time. When do you ever get time to sit down as the two of you and talk about how much you love each other and work yeah, on your relationship? That's right. That's, this is what you're going to hear <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah, you know? so that's right. I'm, I'm just no, I'm, oh, I'm prepped. I'm ready. I'm just saying. Yeah. I just think. I'll say happy Valentine's Day <coughs> and that'll be me. Cause yeah, I've, I love you. Well, you can't yeah. do much else, can you? No, what, what, Jace, I've done all you, I can. What have you done, mate? Because Molly obviously can't hear this until it's already happened. So yeah. what's what's happening? Oh, I've gotten her a bottle of perfume oh, and like nice, a set of flowers. Mate. That oh, is the simple. most classic exactly. <laughs> of all time. That's exactly. A, that, but that's just going it's straight simple. up the guts. Like you, you're not you're not risking anything. You're playing it safe. Yeah. That's probably paying a dollar up 50. footy from me as well. I noticed that her favourite perfume was going out so oh, that up. is eyes up that, I think I've is. done well I think I've done well fucking that, oath that's pretty good I I might like you should get something to just go a bit risky as well as that but that's pretty mm. good that's playing safe feed good. dinner yeah we're just going to do like a stay in date night kind oh, of yeah, thing nice. cook a nice once. feed maybe a nice pasta or something yeah. don't nice. fill her up too much bruss <laughs> no no <laughs> <laughs> keep it light don't we'll be going to bed by eight don't <laughs> fill her up at all no <laughs> well <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, son. You got plenty of living to do. Ah, oh. oh, well done, boys. There's Valentine's Day anyway. Yeah, thanks bit for of, that, Tommy. Bit That's of a good. chat. Oh, yeah. there'll be way more of this on Thursday. But I fucking, for the first time in a long time, had a big winning yes. weekend yes. on the Rex Hunt. Yes. <laughs> fucking yeah. knows. Get that into your blue bet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got one back. Um, but how'd you go at the coast, Jace? Big. Just in general. Was it like a – was it a two or a three-day? So it was a two-day. We got there on the Friday half and, as you know, it's just – Did you have to drive fever. home Sunday? Yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't drive. Man. I laid in the back seat and was just paralysed. That honestly gives me fucking anxiety oh. thinking of how many times I did that. Bro, it was <laughs> fucked. So Friday night, yeah, first night fever. We're like, yeah, well, we'll save – Bit of energy for the 21st. No, no. no. Just fucking wrote myself Never happens, off. Never man. Woke up like in a bad, bad way Saturday morning. Had it all neurofin. Good oh, I just spewed it all up. <laughs> oh. oh, I never spew the morning after drinking, and I was on all fours in the bathroom just heaving. <laughs> oh. And I was like, I don't know how I'm going to recover for tonight. Had a big you, brekkie you burger. Do, but... Went for a swim, and I went, oh, well, this is awesome. When Snooze? No, no. Yeah, nice. No sleeping. Went and played well, golf with the boys, squeezed in a quick nine at Twin Rod. trench work. Nice. Yep. And then I uh, got back to the place and uh, ripped in. <laughs> nice. Went out, got home like 3 a.m. and just went, I'm going to fucking hate myself tomorrow. Yeah, How funny yeah, is it man. that no matter what, like 
you know how much it hurts. You're going home Sunday because you got to work Monday or whatever. Mm. But no one goes, I'm driving tomorrow. I'm going to have an early one. <laughs> yeah. It's Saturday. Oh, yeah. Everyone just goes, let's go. And then it's, yeah. she's like, paper, scissors, rock, who's driving? And just... It's the same as the, the Friday night, first night. Oh. Like when you've got the actual day or the big event, whatever it is, festival, <laughs> yep. fucking cricket, whatever it is, yep. on the Saturday. You just go and turn one on on the Friday night, I think. <laughs> Especially if it's a big group of blokes that you don't, you know, you might not hang out with all the time. Oh, yeah, you're just, just excited, eh? Thing, and it's well, just... the mate's 21st. He lives in Brizzy, so and I haven't mm. seen him in a fair few months. Yeah. So just, just the excitement. Back together and just, it's just oh, the, yeah. Should, yeah. It's funny. So this fucking made me laugh. A few months ago, a good mate <clears throat> went to a Bucks mm. and his missus, went to the opposing hens. They had them on the same weekend. Oh, yeah. Anyway, a bloke I work with, he lives with these this couple, and he said he got home on the Monday and it was like chalk and cheese. And this is fucking every hens versus bucks. So Loz is there, makes a nice roast pork, house is clean as on the Monday, got a big roast dinner on. She reckons Sam didn't leave his bedroom all day <laughs> on the Monday, just absolutely fucked. And I'm just like, that is bucks and hens for you. Yeah. Yep. We <clears throat> abuse the fuck out of ourselves yep. and embarrass the fuck out of the buck. Yeah. The hen gets gets pampered all weekend they and they have a real nice shit. time and they come home feeling nice and refreshed and mm. ready to get married. Well, that's yeah. what that's what we think. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They've probably mm. got us all fucked. Yeah. Whereas we just get home and carry on. Yeah, go, that's oh, right. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> well, we feel that sort of stuff more than them anyway, I reckon. It's just <laughs> being a bloke, we just, I don't know what it is. We just, yeah. You know. Yeah, we, but, um, we do. Ja- we you, do yeah. you showed up Monday, though, still, Jace, for the little boxing session we did, mate. Oh, I was fighting. That Not only sucked. was I fighting in the ring, I was fighting demons in my own <laughs> fucking head. <laughs> <clears throat> Monday was bad. You know when... Best thing you can do, but is get out and... Sweat. I had to do something, yeah. yeah. I couldn't just go home and just lie in a ball. Well, like, I had TAFE a, was tough. I had a big, fair, fair few beers Saturday, actually. Did did a bit of a training session Saturday morning, and then I just felt prime. And mm. I was like, fuck this, I'm going to have beers. I think it was about 11.30, I had my first stubby. Oh, nice. Then nice. I won a heap of money on the punt, and I'm at the pub, fucking went to the surfy, had a feed. Right, I go home. It's about Anna. quarter to nine and I fucking dead set got home. It was nine o'clock and I was on the couch and I turned the TV on and I went, I'll just give the boys a ring. <laughs> <laughs> See what they're up to. See what they are. I was about to say there's no way you've done rang, this. And, uh, yeah, they're all at Tyler's place playing uh-huh. fucking card games. I went, can fucking – so Dale's pregnant. I was, can Dale pick me up? <laughs> She's on her way. Yes, <laughs> nice. Oh, like, oh yeah. So she was a one o'clock finish. Yeah, oh, mate, that's, that's very bad. responsible. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. Tyler wasn't happy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was going to say that surely wasn't for everyone. <laughs> when we all fu- no, well, he had no choice because we all fucked off. Who'd have been steaming happy. around the backyard? <laughs> you soft cunts. <laughs> hey, a bloke. Um, I don't know. If this fucking made me laugh, but he put in the RLC. On Saturday, he goes, I'm coming out of retirement to play grade cricket, and the bat grip was fucked. Yeah, I saw this. Grip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he wanted to know if he should get a new grip or just wrap her up in duct tape. <clears throat> Name was Craig Williams. <laughs> oh, <laughs> first, uh. first comment was, You got to ride Mr. Broadside. How the fuck are you going to play cricket? <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. I just thought, uh, wouldn't you be better off not putting anything on there than tape? Yeah, the tape. Because it would be slippery Slipping. as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Another sound deadening panel just fucking <laughs> fell off. The Speaking echo just slippery. turned up a bit. <laughs> yeah. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, but I, I saw that was a beautiful comment. Yeah, it was lovely. I think um, this Craig's about 103 kegs. So mm. I'd Ooh. say Mr. Brightside wouldn't have got there in the yeah, last probably <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Or moved at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still in the barriers. <laughs> oh, but anyway, we'll we'll get into the sport. We yeah, said we, we teased should. it, said we were going to touch on the NRL and the AFL this week. Mm. I think uh, straight away we'll just... Fucking get straight into the hottest topic, the which is the, the absolute room. joke that it's the hottest topic. We don't think it should be the hottest topic. No, no. We think it's fucking great and there should be more of it. But uh, Carrigan and Reynolds having a little scuffle. Yeah, Carrigan, 
Reckons he feels pretty silly about it. He's the one who was full of piss. Yeah. Rano's tried to get him into a cab on the way home and he's going, fuck you, I'm staying out. Have we all not done that a thousand times? Too many yeah. times. And the boys did a bit of wrestling. Oh, just. Mate, I just think that it's fucking pathetic that that they have carried on with it so much and the fact that they're even standing there apologising oh. like they've done something. Like they're acting like they've been caught snorting lines yeah. in, in a fucking room on camera. They had a push and shove having a little disagreement in a park not affecting any other cunt. It's fucking, it's so fucking just nothing. Grow up. Like nothing. there is absolutely nothing. Like in a year's time, are they going to go, oh, remember when Reno and Patty had that push? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's Those a two are probably laughing about it themselves now. Oh. Yeah, but I don't know if they would no, be. No, they wouldn't Not be. because of the media attention, It's I guess, more like yeah. the culture thing and Renault going there. It'd be more of a thing going, oi, boys, we don't need that oh, but at no. this Fucking... point. But it's just it just annoys the fuck out of me, man, that, like, you go on and read the comments, right, on Facebook and Instagram and shit, and these fucking dead set losers go and strip them. Like stripping with the captain's seat. Yeah. Or don't banning for two rounds. <laughs> Fuck off, cunt. What, the, what are you on about? What's it going to achieve? Who gives a fuck? How good's that voice? Yeah. Just fucking, just go back <laughs> well, to that. I've heard that. That was good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, mate, yeah. I just think the fact that they've obviously haven't got many scandalous things this off season, which is good. Surprising. On, yeah. yeah, on behalf of the boys. But they've obviously saw this, <clears throat> excuse me, and – absolutely latched onto it oh, yeah. and just taken it for a ride. And I honestly don't think anything's going to happen. A week's going to go by and they should, they've done their apology. They'll that's all. Probably should, pay a fine and that's They should it. have got on there and laughed about it. Yeah. Honestly. And just said, yeah, Paddy might go, yeah, mate, I had a few too many. I didn't want to go home. Renault was doing what he should, trying to put me in a cab. We had a push and shove. That's it. It was yeah, literally get over it. only a news story because someone decided to whip out their camera as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And whoever, and whoever, penalties. whoever that is, like, surely you film that. <clears throat> I wonder if he got paid for the for the the yeah. footage. Oh, you surely, know? don't know. Fucking, dog. but yeah. Anyway, anyway, I I hope that that's just does what it should do and nothing happens oh. and then the boys go over to Vegas and fucking do their thing. Nothing's going I might happen. be in the news. I was wrestling with one of my mates on fucking Friday night. Yeah, so Jason me Reggie's. <laughs> I'm not coming out and apologising for shit. Well, did anyone have footage of it? Probably. Oh, oh well, not that I've fuck. seen. <laughs> Tell you what. Oh, we're fucked. The Reggie's the integrity, Reggie's unit's gonna integrity, integrity unit gets a hold of that. Yeah, jeez. You, <laughs> you will be reprimanded. Public yeah. apology. You won't be going to Vegas. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you will be staying here. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah no, I reckon it's fucking G up. Mm. Look, I don't know. Do you reckon if they had a got on the front foot and come out and just had a little laugh at the media and shit and been like, oh, yeah, you know what it's like, just fucking this and that, it would have been any different? or oh, Yeah, because the media would have went, oh, they don't take their jobs seriously. Yeah, that's They're right. Terrible They're terrible leaders. The kids. We're turning into this, oh, the kids. Yeah, Skip yeah, yeah, yeah. and co-skip as well. So We're turning into – so this is what it's like for the, the Yank sportsmen, NBA, NFL, all that. They're – because Americans put their superstars on such a pedestal, whenever they do anything, like they're really, really bad. If anything happens, it same thing. Media just swarms. Yeah. So they don't ever go out anywhere. Or yeah. When they do, they're on their best behaviour. <clears throat> Whereas footy players and stuff, we've always had that culture of we just think of them as one of us. You know what I mean? Because well, they are. Like the if thing... we go and see a fucking footy player, <clears throat> we don't go and just fanboy them. Yeah. We'll just shake the hand. Here you go, mate. Like, talk to him like they're a human. Whereas, you know, over what I mean? there, he's just fucking. Yeah. Oh, my God. Any, anyone who's sort of famous over in America, they just put them on such a high yeah, pedestal. And absolutely. I hope that our, yeah, media <coughs> doesn't turn it into that where they can't even go out and have a fucking beer. I don't well, think it'll ever be that way. <coughs> that's you, the other thing. No, yeah. There's a fucking something that's right. <laughs> it's a journal. Are you like. fucking. <coughs> um, <laughs> But, yeah, I just think, like, they're fucking footy players at the end of the day too. Like, yeah. they're going to have a bit of a wrestle and a push and shove. They're fucking meant to be aggressive and, like, fucking yeah. smashing each other. Full sort of testosterone. Of so, yeah, I just think that is one of the biggest play-ons I've ever seen. 
if you haven't wrestled with your mate half pissed in a footy team, you'd give yourself an uppercut. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And like you said, so. Grapes, it feels wrong that we're even covering it as news, <sighs> but this is more of a fuck yeah. you to the media. That's right. It's more it's more sticking up for the boys to say, yeah, like it's not ideal, yep. but it's nothing more than come on, boys. Probably not ideal. Yeah. So that's yeah. it. I reckon. It's an up you to the Barely media. a slap yeah. on the wrist for that. Yeah, grow up, cunts. Especially Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Mayo man. Just dripping. What's he it. said? Has he said anything about it? Oh, I don't know. It? We'll have to fucking follow that up. See if the big Buzz has got anything to say. That was something. Um, oh, Woody. Anyway, moving on, to, moving on to the preseason. Preseason challenge starts this weekend. Mm. So there's only 16 of the 17 teams playing because Penrith are going uh, to Broad. the UK to play the World Club Challenge. Yep. Um, it's the same format, I think, as last year. So a win gets you – there's two rounds. A win gets you 12 points. A draw gets you six points. If you score five-plus tries, you get one extra point. If you get five-plus line breaks, you get an extra point. And 10-plus offloads, you get an extra point. So all the extra points are for attacking stats, yeah, no, yeah. no defending, which is encouraging them to throw the ball around for entertainment purposes. But I bet you Craig Bellamy, Wayne Bennett, all that are going, fucking don't you dare. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's sort of... Like, obviously it's for, like you said, Gropes, entertainment, but all the good coaches will be saying, fuckheads, we're using these games to get ready for round one. Except Manly. They won it last year, so yeah. they're going for but back-to-back it, titles. I suppose yeah, that, the other thing is, too, it's not like all the starting players are playing, but I don't know, you'd still yeah. want them to learn the structure and get yeah. used to the game. But anyway. You I wouldn't want to be telling really them, to, yeah, mate, fucking... If it's second tackle and you're deep mm. in your end, we want that extra point offloaded. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boys, get the offload numbers up. We want to win 100K. Because, <laughs> like, in the big scheme of things, what is 100 grand uh, NRL clubs? Like, if you're going, yeah. you win 100 grand, but your best player does an ACL, it's oh. not worth 100 grand. Well, yeah, nah, a good point much is. Much more than that. The, there's a the last result. sound deadening voice, so you're going to hear a lot more. Echo She's falling and... off again. The four teams going to Vegas, mm. I know Bronx have like a decent side lined up this week and probably the other couple, but they're not going to fucking play anyone next weekend because nah, they'll be so no, close to going to no. Vegas. Imagine they're like, actually, boys, fuck Vegas, fuck <laughs> round one, let's go for the 100K and then people's ACLs <laughs> well, yeah, are on flying. Do you know what makes me laugh is all the people who live in Vegas wouldn't give a fucking rat's ass about the footy right, but... Mm. That's awesome because they will have no idea that Vegas is about to be flooded with a heap of mad cunt oh, Aussies, and they'll NRL go, "What? Players. What the fuck's going yeah. on here?" <laughs> if they if they actually go and fill the stadium and they go and watch it, yeah. and they'll go, "Oh, these guys are elite athletes." professional sportsmen and all that, if they see him on the piss oh. after. <laughs> They're going to see him in the bathroom at Caesars Palace and be like, what the fuck? Yeah, but yeah. it's more more the fans I'm talking about, like all of these absolute Oh, that are going to watch. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. so many Aussies just yeah, who are there fuck. to rip and tear. I, get, I reckon so many locals there are going to go, what the fuck? Yeah. I would yeah. love to on. see the numbers on the ticket yeah. sales on how many are just Aussies coming from here to go, fuck it, boys, Vegas weekend Bye. to yeah. actual Yanks going, heaps, heaps, fuck yeah. my rugby. Oh, yeah, yeah. and Timmy <laughs> Zoo, like, fighting around the same time yeah, as well. Yeah, it's like, a couple of weeks. Yeah. If like, you were going to, yeah. I think it's, isn't it the same, around the same time? Like, what? Nah, I think he's... Is it a couple I'm of weeks? March, it's a couple similar. of weeks later. Yeah, right. Eh? I think he really wanted it yeah, to be. Yeah, he wanted it to be. I yeah, I probably missed the mark there. I didn't do my research. He but. definitely wanted uh he wanted to do it, but well, it's the end of March. Yeah, okay. March thirty. Yep. March so 30. no, I don't think yeah. anyone's gonna survive Vegas for, for a, a month. week. <laughs> a month, yeah, <laughs> fuck. Surely not. Or if you do, you've yeah. had a fucking good month. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, you're right. They're not playing next week. I don't think most of them probably won't play this week. Like, well, Broncos have brought out a pretty stacked team. And they, Roosters as well. Are they out? Yeah, so team list Tuesday, first one of the year technically. I'm not counting last week. But Bronx are playing the likes of Walshy, Cobbo, Dean Mariners on the wing, who I reckon will be a consistent starter this year. Yeah. Reno, Payne Haas, Billy Walters, oh, really? Paddy Carrigan. You like, joke? They have thrown a decent team as well as Roosters. So who are we walloping? The Cabs. Yeah, Cowboys have uh, put out a pretty <laughs> average team. So, so, but they is that a huge extended bench? 
and there's four people on the interchange. Really? They've all, they've all mean, been yeah, named like, like oh. to start. Reserves. Yeah, yeah. right. Because I thought that'd be a thing where like the boys would go out for a bit of a like 20, 30 minute bash. Yeah, yeah that's what I would have thought too. too. Anyway, Roosters cool. are named Teddy, Tupo, Suwali, Dom Young, Kiri, Sam Walker, Lindsay Fucking Collins. They're all keen for the 100. Matt Butcher, Tupanilla. <laughs> they want the 100K. Yeah. Cool. Well, that'll be more entertaining for us to watch. I'll tell you what is good, boys. Mm-hmm. Named at fullback for the Storm. Ryan Pappenhausen. Did see that. Fucking oath. Yeah, that, so that is good. That's good to see. Mate, I just hope that that bloke, whether he has the best year ever or not, I just hope he just has a fucking injury-free year. Yeah. Or just if he gets an injury, can you just like slightly tear something instead yeah. of just fucking. Have three weeks in the sideline. Just side doing some rare injury, injury <laughs> yes. you mad oh, hole. Some strange-ass injury. Mm. Um, and I think Penrith would have to be. Pretty well on their way over, I would have thought, by this weekend. You'd think so, yeah, so wouldn't you? 24th it is, so you want a couple of days definitely to get over that jet lag and 100%. then you want to actually do a bit as well. Yeah, know, get like used to the conditions over have there. Have a run and stuff over yeah. there. It is going to be that shit, the weather. Oh. You know the um, – Pommy Carl messaged in. The Super League actually starts officially this Thursday. Oh, does it? Yeah, so that's the start of their season is this Thursday, so the day – uh, you know, we do the punch show yeah, yeah. this week. So, what, so in the middle of the, well, not the, the middle, seasons but, yeah. almost do line up. So I think they could do something a bit better. But that's why our excuse is always, oh, you know, they're in the middle of their season. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's just like strange two for them weeks in. to be playing a game in the middle of their season as well, though. Yeah, so oh, I don't know what the schedule is. Maybe they don't. Maybe they've got to buy or whatever. You know yeah, what I mean? True. First week and then, but yeah. Um, yeah, you let me know that. So they're just two weeks ahead of us, which is fuck all, really. Well, I don't even think – I could be wrong. I don't think Penrith are actually playing this weekend. Mm-mm. So They're not. That's what I said yeah. before. There's only 16 mm. teams yeah. in the preseason So they challenge. get the bye and then they go overseas next week. There's un- they're not playing at all. They're not playing at the all. Pre-season. Oh, yeah. okay. There's well, that only, works in their fucking favour. There's, only, the challenge there's eight there. games yeah, per yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, I reckon uh, I reckon Christian Welch is in for a big year, like getting through after his Achilles injury I last keep, year. I keep saying that though, and I just wait for him to have this big year, but yeah, he keeps but, injuring himself. But that's what I mean. Like last year, he had a whole year mm. after his big injury, and I think this is his like he's had a whole year under the belt preseason. Yeah, yeah. This is his time. Like he's our age. He had an injury free year. Yeah, is what thirty you're saying, this yeah. year, injury free year, full preseason. Right in a props fucking element, 30, yep. turning 30. Yeah. Like that is, to me, a front rower, fully developed in his prime. Yeah. Should be good for the Storm and Queensland. Like if, I just think fucking it's his year to have a big one. Just yeah, quickly. I hope you're right. If he's your up. age and he was playing footy in Gladson, did mm. you verse him? Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, played with him um, a lot growing up, like in the rep stuff, in the schoolboy stuff. He was a fullback for a while, played for True. the fish, the grub. Yeah, yeah. he was a yeah. Chanel. Boy. He was actually oh, a, he, pl- he played a, a lot of though, hockey, yeah. the soft count. But um, <laughs> then he was a pretty good cricketer as yeah. well. No, he was, just that like just good at every. Yeah, sport. man, he was just a gun. Yeah. But um, obviously, fucking yeah, went with the footy path, and it's going all right for him. Yeah. It has gone <laughs> pretty well for him. Yeah, yeah, no, he was Chanel and fish yeah, boy. I knew that he was Chanel and fish, but I didn't realize the age. So I just clicked then. I was like, "Fuck, you boys must have played against him." Yeah, and with him, yeah. well, I only played cricket with him. I think I he moved away, footy. moved away pretty early on. Like it, we didn't play a lot of um, like older footy with him. It yeah. was just like the schoolboy stuff. But yeah, yeah, he was always good. Yeah, the uh... never a front rower though. <laughs> no, back then, just would have <laughs> filled out. Yeah, the dogs and that they've they're the ones who've named the big. 29 oh, players yeah. in the squad with the reserves and all that. See John Jones but with no, the dogs. Uh, just yeah, shifting cunts. How's fucking <laughs> the size of him? Yeah. He's, he's just got the sump now. Yeah, he's yeah. Huge, man. <laughs> Big Johnny. Yeah. Just um, letting that peck recover and probably just pounding beers. But it yeah. mustn't be too bad. See him just lift some cunt yeah. onto the Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, He's a pretty good wrestler, so. Yeah. yeah. It, goes, it goes well. <laughs> mm. but His yeah, kick no... was so fucking hard to watch. Oh, yeah. The toe poke. Yeah, the big run up on the toe poke. I was like, oof. Uh, Went over there. Uh, yeah, yeah, he nailed it. It's probably his 45th go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it'll be good. I can't wait to, uh, even though it's preseason, it's going to be good to see the boys getting back into oh, it. The first game, all you hope for is, and you don't need to worry until next week, but you just hope no star players. 
cop a fucking injury. Yeah, God, no. This is like, like a major one, you know. The, these sort of games for me is good to ch- check out when you can because similar to like when Origin time's on, you get to have a look at um, some blokes who are on the fringe or yeah. some young fellas who are coming through who they're giving a go. Yeah. You know, it's always good to see who's up and coming for each team and shit like that. And it's just good because rugby league's back. Fuck yeah, yeah, simple as that. Yeah, yeah. I'm just pumped. Thursday night is the first game as well. So this, yeah, 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 dogs and preseason, yeah, hundred so percent. Fuck yeah, I'm, the, uh, I'm to pumped. The punch show. That first <clears throat> week where you've got the, it's like a bit of a split week because you've got the Sunday is the opening day mm. in Vegas, and then you got to sort of wait till Thursday for like the first game back in Australia. Yeah, but I reckon that's prime because first game Sunday Arve, and then boom, you're into it. Yeah, fucking oath. What about the AFL boys? How's it shaping yeah, up? Yeah, so season starts. Well, March we've 8th. been over this. Yeah, yeah. It's it split. starts the same weekend as the the first weekend of ours, minus the Vegas yeah. of the NRL. Sorry, so you got the Vegas round on the third of March, and then the third game of the season, which will be the Thursday night. That's when the AFL starts as well, but mm. they're only having four games that weekend with their little opening round before round one situation. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm literally just looking so. at the app right now, and it's got all the numbers, but at the start it just says. Oh, oh, uh, I know. We, so, we've been over this. Yeah, we said yeah, just opening so dumb, round man. and then you have round one. So, yeah, yeah that's awesome. Um, so, <laughs> Are you season- keen, keen though, boys, for the, for the AFL? I oh, yeah, am. Fucking oath. I'm, uh, I'm keen, not for that opening round. That can get fucked. But yeah. I think um, Carlton have got to win the comp this year. Yeah. This has to be their year. If they're going to win it, year. they've got to win the comp. I'm going to make a bit more a- of an effort this year, boys, to try and just stay in – in touch with it, yeah. Like fucking nah, good stuff. Keep good a bit shit, more of an mate. eye. On. I um I went to start the two tipping comps too. Yeah. On the ESPN, and for whatever reason, I did the Reggie's twenty twenty four. Yeah. Tried to add the NRL and AFL, and it wouldn't let me do the NRL. Oh, well, we need so to I don't get know what's going on. Because because we, we give the boys sh- we yeah. give the boys shit the other day saying we got ages, but I think we are. <laughs> yeah. uh, we definitely so, need yeah, to do that. Yeah, we need to give them enough time to get themselves but in as well. All I can say is. If you're keen to get involved with all that sort of stuff, join the RRLC on Facebook. There's mm. a few questions you got to answer, and that's where I think we'll post like the link when we do. Yeah, well, I'll the tell you the password and everything. Yeah. Password will be pretty. He's waiting the same. <laughs> mm. um, but yeah, I reckon Carlton got to win the comp. They're going to win it this year. Brisbane, Collingwood, all the usuals will be up there. I'm just a little bit. It's a little bit like the Bronx. I'm a bit worried about the hurt of last year's loss. Going. The wrong way yeah. instead of being a being a um, a positive, them t- they end up being a negative. Why? It's, yeah. uh, it's not so much the Broncos because last year we were not expected; they weren't expected to go that well. No, not at all. The Lions were, and the Lions have been expected to go that well for four or five years, and they got a little bit of a choker's tag yeah. because they were losing semis, they lost prelims. Yep. So notorious I think for it. last year that was it, you know, that was like we're here, we're in front with five minutes to go and then they end up losing. So mm. I don't know. I, I think uh, it could obviously yeah. go the right way. I think it's going to go the right way. Yeah. If there's, they'll use it as that motivation. But why go. didn't they use it as that motivation the fucking three, four years before when That's they true, kept losing, yeah. you know? I don't know. I think looking at – the squads and the way last year panned out and how it was such a close final, it's like I fucking cannot pick a team to win. Yeah, the flag. I know. I'm, There's no outright favour. Obviously, you can say Collingwood back to back. They've mm. got such a good squad and Lions. Like you said, they're always going to be sniffing around. But I would not be surprised if there was an outsider team. Bit of a smoky, yeah. yeah. Smoky. Well, I'm going to be on Carlton because I just think they have to win it this yeah. year. I honestly, I know I um. Fucking obviously loved Geelong and last year I was like, nah, there's no way we miss the eight. And that was one of our worst <laughs> seasons in a comp. while. I think this will be a rebuild phase for us. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if we miss the eight again. Not that, well, I, don't, not that I don't have confidence in my team, but I don't think we're going to dominate how we always <clears throat> kind of have. I think this Ooh. two or three year period might be a bit of like around that ninth, tenth place. Yeah, but you won't though because for some reason Geelong just always play finals since, yeah. ever, since I can remember. Yeah, that's very true. I like Danger, am, players like Danger, Tommy Hawkins. Well, he'd have that, to be close. They're getting he? very close yeah. to retiring, man. Yeah. Hopefully the Hawks have a good year. I've All the signs were there at the end of last year and through the, throughout the year, they showed glimpses of what they, they can did. do. So 
Hopefully another season under the belt. Fucking a lot of young guns the boys? Too. What about the boys over at the West who just shat themselves? Oh, the coast. I have not even looked at what's going on over there. So hopefully they, uh, yeah. they end up getting that number one draft pick, Harley Reid, which they obviously wanted. But that that come with... He'll play three years over there and then move back to the yeah, East Coast. Yeah, I know, I know. I just hope he plays a good three years for them. Yeah, true. Because, yeah, it was just... They've got some of... decent players in their squad, but they got fucked by injuries as well last year too. It's been that story for a couple of years. Mm. Um, but, yeah, no, nah, look, time will tell. I think they're still going to struggle, but... So are we going to do, before both kick off, are we going to do our predicted... Yeah, yeah we'll have a go. I think the NRL might be a bit easier than the I AFL. Might get a fucking yeah. dartboard, the <laughs> AFL. <laughs> well, there's 18 teams. So. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, but no, I'm really looking forward to it. Hey, eh? I think it's awesome that they're starting around the same time. It yeah, always is. You know, yeah. you usually got to wait a couple of weeks. I'm actually keen one. to get into me multi work, boys. I fucking love <laughs> sniffing out. Like, I love when Teamless Tuesday comes out looking at. I'm a real back rower on a half that can't tackle try scorer bloke. Yeah, oh, yeah and you uh, are. I, but it <laughs> fucking comes off a lot. It so does. Yeah, it's good. A little short ball bang. I'm very keen Bloody to get half. into me blue bet multis this fucking year. Bloody oath. Uh, let's have a little cheers because Australia are the under nineteen World yeah, Cup champions. Yeah, the boys. Oh, yeah, again in the blue tits, Jace. Yeah. Um, Defeated India in the final. Get that Familiar India. story there. Hey? Mm. Uh, ended up winning by eighty odd runs. The semi was a, amazing, where we uh, we got up by one wicket in the end. Yep. Um, we beat England at one stage through the tournament. So basically, just the usual, but it was the under nineteen <laughs> version. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've just said it once. I'll say it again. We just get ICC tournaments. Yeah, from a we young age. Them. I didn't watch a game. So Neither did I. <laughs> I've got to admit. Crack on there and say, yeah, fucking watched it all. Didn't watch a game. Yeah, I didn't watch it. Uh, but what it, what I did watch was the big show at the Adelaide Oval oh, on Sunday night. Oh, nice. 120 not outs. Becomes the joint leader for the most ever T20 international hundreds with five. Him and Rohit Sharma have both got five. Wow, well, yeah, that's fucking uh, impressive. Terrible bowling. I must say, yeah. <laughs> leg stump half volleys all innings, um, but he still had to put them away. So just after all their off-field bullshit, he comes out and says, "I can drink piss. I can do what I want because <laughs> I'll get tons in fucking t twenties. I love yeah. it. That's the best way to clap back." Yeah, there was that story getting around. He went to um, a concert. Mm. Was it a concert? I thought it was the golf in Adelaide and then he had a huge Oh, no, nah, this is recent. Oh, is there another one? He's gone somewhere and he was in the – this confused a lot of people because yeah. it said he was in the green room and he passed out like on the couch just mm. from being pissed. And the green room when you're at a concert is like the area where the 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 act or whoever you're there for, yeah. they like get ready and all that shit. And yeah. Yeah, they said the green room and I just – there was a couple of old fellas going, no, oh, in the green room, bugging on the chuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, as if a media company would fucking insinuate that he's in the green room yeah, yeah. <laughs> talking about it. But anyway, yeah, so he's passed out on the couch at some fucking event. And, uh, oh, come wow. Out, made what a bad not person. <laughs> uh, so you can do that. You just can't wrestle your mate. <laughs> I just like all – I think people – it's like people treat – Athletes like fucking they aren't human. Like this is you what can't, I was getting at like with America and that. Yeah, this like is what they do. You can't when you're not fucking working. You can't go and enjoy yourself. Fuck oh, off. Yeah, it's a joke. Yeah, and anyway. legally enjoy yourself um, as well. Yeah. If the Windies could bowl a bit better, they're playing fucking now. Actually, they would have just if they they've scored two hundred and two and two hundred and seven, and they've been beaten comfortably both times. Wait, what about so, the uh, run out that wasn't appealed? Yeah. Oh. What's going and the and the yes, um, umpires going? Just get on with it. It's like the cunts out. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder they're lipping. I um I agree with the players in this one because mm. yeah they didn't appeal and in twenty years ago. 100% I'd be on the umpire's side. Yeah. But I'm on the player's side here because even if the bat is – if the umpire looks and, and he, can, he can see that the batsman's in by a metre and a half, yeah. he still checks it. Yeah, that's, that's so. what I'm thinking too. <laughs> Whenever it's close, he'd just go, yeah, have a look. Yeah, you and know? even when it's not close, he like, still checks it. The dude who whipped the bales off can't. Like he at least just, just throw a half up. up. Yeah. But yeah. but when they were looking at it and he's clearly out and he's just going, boys, move on with it. I'm going, what the 
fuck are you on yeah. about, dickhead? He's just out. Such an obvious yeah. wicket that obviously they just went, oh, no yeah. need to fucking appeal. The but, uh, the older heads it. listening will go, nah, you got yeah. to appeal. And I agree, I 100% agree with you. But in this day and age when they literally check everything, mm. fuck but it. Diggers it doesn't matter, matter, yeah. But diggers were square to the wicket at back and they were saying, I fucking appeal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, so anyone on that field who, who went, yeah. Like anything like yeah. that, that's an appeal. But the do you know what ump's, I was reading? Fucked up. Do you know what I was reading? <laughs> that apparently, like, if they, while they were sitting there before another ball is bowled, if they literally appealed then and went, how's that? He like, apparently, had to go that's an appeal still. Well, there you go. So, there you go, Australia. Keep yeah. that up, you fucking sleep. Right. Bit we of a grey area now. We scored 240 DRS. runs. So I think, was that, the, was that the umpire just sticking to his guns? Oh, like, that's what I'm saying. That, I think he made a mistake. And he and just, he just went, went, nah, nah, nah. Fuck Dug the heels yeah. in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and went, fuck this. He's too far in. Yeah. yeah and you, I can respect that. <laughs> yeah. I can respect that ump. He would have went home and went, fuck. At least he showed a bit of fucking integrity. Yeah, he didn't just fall. He just went, nah. Fuck you. I'm wrong. I'm sticking. Sticking to it. Yeah. <laughs> you just can fuck off. Yeah. Lucky it wasn't like a match deciding no. um, call. But I think yeah. if it was a match deciding call, it wouldn't have even been a fucking issue in the first place. I think, mm. yeah. Given it. It probably would have been um, <laughs> yeah. a bit, got a bit more coverage. Yeah. Oh, the, well, the Windies are batting first tonight and they're three for fucking 57 off six. Ooh. So good run rate again, just mm. losing too many wickets. Yep. See how that um, one pans out. Yeah. We'll probably win in eight overs or something. <laughs> Don't jinx us. Uh, the Aussie women, boys, in the cricket, they had another loss to South Africa during their ODI series, mm. but in same fashion, lost game two, come out, absolutely spanked them in game three, won the series 2-1. Go on, you girls. That's just what they do. When they have a loss, they seem to fire right up. Prime. You know, That's all you can ask for. You I never like expect every team to win every game, but it should sting you when you lose. Yeah. It should come out. The way harder. you respond after a loss shows the team that you That are. side is just so fucking good. Mm. Like, just everywhere. Talent so, across the board. Uh, the third test between India and England starts Thursday. I'm actually really looking forward to that because the first two tests have been fucking really good to watch. Yep. No Virat, though, still. Um, not sure what's Wasn't going he, on there. I was talking to a cab driver. Now, this is not racist at all. This man happened to be Indian and yeah. when I was away. And I said, mate, what's going on with the, you know. Vera? Yeah, I love well, doing that. Me too. And straight away, there's just a rip of yarn and he's firing. Yeah. You can tell the fucking radio got turned straight down. And he's and into, he's it. into yeah. it. So anyway, I'm like, here we go. Fucking have a yarn of this bloke. So what's going on with Virat, mate? Oh, apparently his uh, missus was having a kid. Yeah. So I don't know. I hope for old Virat there isn't any dramas oh, there. Yeah, Cause, right. Well, well, because that's what he told me. I don't know how well informed he is, but he said something about it was him, his missus having a kid or well, something. Well, it was for personal reasons that he took the time yeah, off. So. so maybe he's just having a prolonged period at home with the kid. Ho- yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Mm. No, for sure. That, that was just literally from a cab driver the other day. So that is not... Any sort of factual. Yeah. Just got around the great <laughs> so line. It's true. Yeah. It's just tell um, <laughs> Second test between South Africa A and New Zealand also started today. That'd be a ripper. So, well, South Africa is six for 220. So they've, uh, they've had bad. a go. But They're about to reach par. You never know until both sides are batted. New Zealand probably makes 600 or something. Yeah. But they um, get caned. I found out off a few good, Thanks, good on the <laughs> listeners again mm. for tuning in. Found out that the SA Cricket Board's broke. Uh, Indian Cricket Board has lent them money and forced them to make their star players play in the domestic T20 comp. Really? Yeah. Wow. So shit form. But, mm. I mean, fuck. fuck you, know, you invest in something, you want to get returns. So I can understand it from a How fucking... are they broke? Don't know. Didn't look into it enough. That was just what I got They've told. always been one of the powerhouse nations across all formats of cricket. Yep. That is fucking yep. interesting. I'd like to read into a bit more of that. Yeah, well, we fucking can. That's um, our job. You're going to love this one. The Volk this weekend. Oh, boys. yes. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking pumped. So pumped. I am so keen for this card and Volk to wrap it up, boys. It is good card, isn't it? It is a great card. Like, So I've been to two live UFC fight nights now. Been lucky enough for some primo seats, and both cards have featured Justin the Badman Tafa, who has absolutely fucking slept 
the bloke he's fighting. And has one of the reggiest rigs Mate, of all time. And just <laughs> like he's just so good to watch. Just an entertainer. He is fighting on the prelims. Yep. Um, he's an underdog as well. So there's one to look out for. Tafa. I think, oh, mate, I remember I was watching a thing and Tafa goes, yeah, he's probably going to try and take me down and I'll probably knock him out. <laughs> 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 like, he's just... Confident. Uh, yeah. Yeah, love so that. So he's very entertaining and that's a fucking prelim. And then we go to the main card. Get this, India. We got Marab, Marab not going to try his last name. I've got you. Get me, mate. Marab. The Valish Billy. Yep. Versus Henry Sejudo. So that's going to be a very good fight. Like that's nearly a contender fight to see who is fighting next. Yeah. So the... I've got a little bit on Marab. Yeah. Because yeah. he is a fucking funny little unit. Mm. So all his social media stuff yeah. fucking cracks me up, man. So I'm definitely rooting for him this week. Yeah, yeah. Just because he's well, a bit of a personality. You and know? because he, there's a thing going on with him and Aljamain Sterling are training partners. Yeah. So yeah, when yeah. Aljo was champ, he, he didn't want to yeah. fight. And I remember Dana a couple of times going off. Not not going off, but pretty much saying it's bullshit. Yeah. Like, what are you doing, mm. cunt? Yeah. Are you either here to be a champ yeah. or you're not? But now he's not champ. Obviously, he'll be making a push now. And with... um. Sugar Sean and Cheeto fighting. Yep. I think this will be the eliminator to go who's yeah. who's up sort well, of thing, you know. I really hope he wins. I yeah. like his, I like his personality. has gone up to featherweight now too, hasn't he? Has he? I yeah, think so. I, I think know. he's fighting in UFC 300 at featherweight. Yeah, right. Because I saw the card the other day again and it's just unranked in that weight division. So yeah, right. Eh? I'm pretty sure he's stopped. Stu- Wow, fuck that up. <laughs> Stood up. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Maybe. Um, but that's, like, that's a good one to fucking – Pretty much kick off the beauties. And then you got Jeff Neal versus Ian Gary. I'm yeah. keen so to see that. I'm keen to see how the cut goes yeah. after just getting <laughs> just pounded by every cut. Sure like how he performs. Um, Robert Whittaker, who I'm a massive fan the of, return. versus Paulo Costa. Hopefully Costa doesn't pull out. He's still got time. Yeah. He's a renowned <laughs> puller. Um, that's going to be great. And then, obviously, our man, Volk versus Ilya Taporia. And... It's this is the first fight at featherweight for Volk that I'm like nervous in a good way about. Like it's a proper test for him. Yeah. Like this cunt's yeah. undefeated, very well rounded. He's the same height, so Volk Volk's not used to fighting dudes who are his height. Yeah, like they're he, normally a bit bigger. But I just think it's this is his time to prove. I think all you motherfuckers keep forgetting that the losses are against the dude who owns the division above. Yeah. Like this is his chance to say, and I'm the king here. Of featherweight division. Yeah. Fucking oath. I think um, I haven't heard him really, I might be wrong here, but I feel like he's been very vocal Um like talking smack, you know, mm. about about him and well, stuff. Or whether it's just I've seen it this time or not. Well, I think he's he's doing well to sell it. But also before that, when he's fighting a respectful guy, mm. uh, Volk isn't one to talk shit. Yeah, but Ilya right, has yeah. been very cocky and very confident and he's saying, right, cunt, like I'll shut you up. Yeah, he goes, yeah, I yeah. can't wait to humble you sort of shit. Yeah, and that's yeah. what makes me go, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. let's go. And they're fucking very even on the betting markets, like as in Volk's yeah. favourite. But for how dominant he's been, he's like a dollar eighty something, and Tapuri is like a dollar ninety something. So people have just forgotten how fucking dominant he's been in that weight division, eh? But it's uh, it's it's interesting though, because like Tapuri has has been very dominant too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. gonna be a ripper fight. I'm pumped, and that's not even the rest of the card. So. Very fucking. It's a stacked card. It's yeah. one of those ones you'll sit down at the prelims and start yeah. watching. Well, eh? Tafa in the prelims. Yeah, that's I'm exactly. nearly just as excited as yeah. for his Fuck fight yeah. as I am for uh, Rob and and Volk. And I think that'll be my little multi that I'll definitely have on. Will be fucking um, Tafa knockout into Whitaker Volk to win. You've just, got to back those. I'm boys. just like, yeah. that's my boys. Let's yeah. go. Fuck yeah. yeah. Oh, so, funny. It's going to be good to see Whitaker back. Yes. It will. I, I reckon, think, yeah. yeah. He's got to be one of the unluckiest middleweights. For sure. To not, you know, be more successful mm. just because he was in that Adesanya era where he was yeah. so dominant. But A lot of pressure on him became. as well, eh? Like, to, to go, this is his chance to stay relevant at the top. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, after yeah. Drykus obviously does that, um, you know, this is – it's probably a big fight for both of them, to be honest, because Costa's been f- fucking out of it for mm. ages. They're both so. kind of at the same level, yeah. Surely yeah. Uh, Rob will get him. Is it a five-rounder or uh, is it a three? I'd say it'd be a three, man, because yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, and that's that's just me talking out my ass. But normally a five round fight, unless it's a special occasion, yeah. will only be headlining a or a co-main. Yeah. Well, it is a co-main, so it might be. I don't know. I hope it's five. Oh, me too. I hope for Whitaker's sake. Well, it's five, it is I a reckon. co-main event, so it might be. I I don't know though. Yeah. Can yeah. I don't know if we we'll can find check it if that's a fucking thing or not. Um. Yeah. No, it's going to be prime. Same. You is it? Where is it? Uh, in Vegas. No, it's. I think it's uh, where we, Quino, we had a look at that the other day. California. Yeah, California. Okay. I'm just so finding out how many still rounds on the, for you two. It's still yeah. on the West Coast, though, so yeah. it'll be the normal time. that uh, The Sunday yeah. of. The Sunday of, yeah. I fucking love it. Yeah, it's right, such a good time right, that's for right this Sunday off. That's just a fun one to fucking watch. Whether the pub, get the boys around. It's Footy as well. Fun. Yeah. There'll be fucking rugby league too. Oh, yeah, the preseason games. Yeah, mm. fucking hell. So that's, that's the fucking UFC. I'm very excited for that's that. That's going to be prime. And the... Uh, to on the Biffin front too, boys, it's pretty exciting to see um, Haney versus Garcia getting, yeah, getting that's talked about. Yeah, going to be huge. They yep. were, uh, it's uh, pretty convenient that they had a bit of a run in the other yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His that old boy so there cool. had to get pulled apart. Yeah. I'm like, there's marketing. <laughs> Very smart, boys. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I'll tell you who I really enjoyed listening to the other day, and that was, um, Fuck, what's his name? Uh, Cambosis Jr. Yeah, yeah. Talking about his upcoming fight. Mm. It was like about a minute long, yep. this clip, and the whole thing where he's talking about, you know, coming back and doing this and this is a legacy fight and this and that. I've been a champion. He's been a champion. We've both lost. This is all about legacy. And I just G'd me up. Eh? Mm. Like I was fucking fired up for it. And I was, I was sort of changed my tune going from, oh, you know, it's going to be a a drubbing. Yeah, you thought Loma was going to Fucking this cunt's going to get him. there's <laughs> one thing that you cannot doubt about Georgie Boy, mm. and that is self-belief and fucking confidence and just believing in yourself to, to do well. Yeah. yeah he just believes in himself and he fucking works hard, man. Like, yeah. yeah. you got to get behind it. Yeah. You know, a fight I am going to watch. It's <laughs> a no that? limit one. These two fucking hate each other. Sam Goodman and that Schleebs or whoever Oh, is wasn't that a <laughs> lip up the other day? <laughs> it was just consistent for like three yeah. or four minutes just going at each other. I'm going, oh, I am fucking tuning into that. Mate, for and sure. Isaac Hardman is on, on the, the same, same card. card yeah. And he has got, I reckon, the best lip game in Australian yeah. boxing for I'd sure. I'd love sure. if like he fought someone that he fucking didn't like mm. <laughs> just to see. Like he seems to fight these Fucking people that are like, you know, well, he, he struggles doesn't to, mind. He struggles to, well, he doesn't know them. Like, yeah. as in, it's been ages since I don't think any Aussies are keen to. <laughs> the fridge freezer. Yeah, yeah, the big geezer. <laughs> the, 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 the Japanese steel. steel. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say this though? So, uno, dos, adios, he reckon for this bloke. <laughs> <mic. laughs> like, he's just unreal, old Harbin. So. Yeah, but that's going to be that. prime, man, because I reckon Sammy Goodman <laughs> should fucking piece this bloke up but he, whether he comes out and he gets all you know fired up trying to go for knockouts and Sammy stuff like Goodman that. is such a great technical boxer but I hope that he um knocks him out oh like, same. I, I hope that he makes a statement but he doesn't have to that's the thing if he just keeps winning like he does he'll make it too but it'd yeah. just be cool to see Goodman come out and proper fucking just put him down yeah, fucking 100% um, Old mate had one of the highlight reel knockouts last year, though, that he's fighting. Mm. He proper pinned this dude. It was actually on the card that we were at your old boys' place. That dude who just got <laughs> slept oh, sitting shit. down through the ropes. <laughs> yeah. well, that was old mate who did it yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah it's good. good. No um, limit. I think there's like three or four fights for no limit in March. Like, they're, they've wow, gone huge. True, Liam cool. Wilson's fighting. I can't wait to see him. Yep. One of my favourite Aussie boxers. Uh, I think Zarafa's on the undercard of Timmy Zoo. Um, yeah, he's he's fighting for a world title. Zoo just sprays him every time that <laughs> yeah. Zarafa comes into conversation. <laughs> Tim's just like, yeah, nah, he's down yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he's wrong. Yeah, yeah. He but yeah. that's gonna be. And then obviously the 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 major one is, is oh. Zoo and um. Yeah, uh, what's it? Herman. Herman. Mm. That's gonna just top the month off. Yeah, <laughs> mate, it's just prime. I just love sport. Like yeah. we got we've got the footy, we've got the AFL, we've got the cricket still. We got UFC and boxing. Just that for me is just like what fucking more could you ask for? This yeah. is the exciting time of the year when yeah. it comes in yeah. all the winter sports. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck um, well, pretty well the only time we're ever going to touch on this unless uh, an Aussie wins a world title. But I watched uh, about 
two hours of surfing every year, and it's oh, yeah. when Pipeline's on. Yeah, like right. Pipe on. Masters in Hawaii, and it was on the weekend. Yep. They're freaks, mate. That that pipeline break, like it is massive there all the time, and there's just barrels, and they just make it look that easy. Yeah. Uh, Molly Picklum, she's a 21 year old from the uh, central coast of New South Wales. Yeah. Now the girls weren't allowed to ride the pipeline break until 2020. Really? So they True. Wouldn't, wouldn't let them ride it at pipeline or back door. They call it. It's like whether you go left or right. It's, Girls should always be in the back door. It's so fucking annoying because the commentator's proper. I don't know if he's Hawaiian or if he's mm. American, but it's like that proper cool boy. Oh, hits Dude. it! Oh, hits it at back door. <laughs> oh, I just get got so, totally pitted. Yeah, yeah. Such so surfer. So accent. anyway, they, weren't, they didn't let him do it. <laughs> Smack break. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. So they've started letting them surf it, and they have the helmets on and everything. <laughs> yeah. Molly Picklum got a perfect barrel. First woman ever to get a 10-point ride at Pipeline. Oh, how That's cool is that? Ride. And that was in the semi. So On she, your girls. How good is that for women's sport? Um, she made the final. She ended up losing the final, but mm. she got a nine-point something for one of those rides as well. And the cool commentator kept saying that what what happens is you get your two best scores, your two best waves, mm. and they add them up and yep. the top score wins. So they both got a ripper. Molly got her by about a point. But then Old Love caught like a small wave and done a few turns, like it didn't barrel. Mm. And so her little four-pointer or five-pointer won her the thing oh. just by doing two turns. Yeah. And they were saying like Molly's got that mindset where she won't take a small no, one. No, I'm either going. I'm either fucking... getting a barrel or I'm not. Or I'm losing. Fuck. Yeah. And I was like, oh, you could have just put down the just get put the pride one. down. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway. It's like the umpire, right? Nah. It, was just, it was cool because yeah, nah, nah. I loved seeing the the ten pointer mm. in the semi. That was in the semi, and that's all everyone could you know ask her about. And you know what's this feeling? First ever to get a ten at pipe, but then she run, got runner up, which oh, yeah. is you know the, on the surfing front. Who is the chick? Apologies that um tackled the big waves recently. I saw her on the news or something, and like it was a, it was a little storyline there where they were saying you'd never be good enough to fucking do it or whatever, and she's. Rode this huge fucking wave, like got towed into it and shit on the jet ski. She or? might have paddled it, but it was it was massive, and it was just more one of those storylines of like "fuck you, I'm gonna do it." Yeah, um, it Love just that. reminded me that it was a woman surfing. Um, but on the on the big wave front, man, there, it's fucking the insane. Ch- like they've got some nuts riding yeah. some of those waves. Like if you fall off, you're fucked. It's oh, because yeah. of the reef. Underneath yeah. you, like mm. when you get those big barrel and waves, it means it's that shallow yeah. underneath. And if you fall, like you say, yeah, yeah. As, well as, some as, fucking... as well as just having to be under for that long. Like yeah, you need yeah, to... yeah. Oh, yeah. on the real big stuff, yeah. This wasn't too bad. Mm. Like there was still some fucking heavy falls. Yeah, Molly yeah. fucking fell off about two or three times where the board the rail just got stuck in the water and bang, yeah. and you just go, oh, they're fucking tough, aren't they? Yeah, awesome to see, but. Yeah, First yeah, it did the nation proud regardless if you didn't win. Yeah. She'll win a world title one day for sure. 21, that's pretty like, – what age do surfers hit their peak? Yeah, well, this, I think it's younger the better, eh? This yeah. might have been it, Gropes. Laura yeah, Anover sets new Guinness World Record. I think that's November – Last year, so I think that was probably what I was. Um, yeah, I think it it would be her. What I was looking at because it's pretty relevant. And and yeah, be, yeah. Um, we'll touch quickly mm. on the uh, Super Bowl boys. I watched it all. Watched the five hours. Had an RDO yesterday. Yep. Pretty cool as a spectacle, but nothing to really ride home about. I mean, it was like just. As an NFL fan, you're probably like, what a fucking game. I don't overtime. know, though, because like, like, unless you yeah. love defense. Yeah. Because in the Not first half, happened. it was all just about defense. The offense had nothing on either side. There was a yeah. couple of good things. But then in the second half, it turned around a bit where Mahomes and Purdy got into their work. But um, Something happened in that. It's a great sniff for squeeze, by the way. Just yeah. giving a little heads up. Oh, yeah, yeah with that fucking linebacker. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know how they carry on when they make one tackle? Mm. So the the punt team was on, mm. the kicking team. So their, like, main linebacker was off the field watching the, the punting team. Kicked it and it was a good, I don't know, they ended up trapping them right down their end. Uh, 
the 49ers trapped the Chiefs right down their end, so yeah. they had to start inside their five or ten or whatever. So it was a good punt. Old mate's gone to fucking run on the field. I watched the YouTube of it today just yeah. to make sure it was that. And they've all gone to run on and carry on, and he's snapped his Achilles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like straight off the man. bat, like come off, bang, first step, shot by a sniper, drops you on can, the ground. I watched oh. it a few times, and you can actually see his foot like yeah, his move ankle a little bit, and I'm just going, <sighs> oh. And but it's like fucking surgery, right? Yeah, it's like I don't want to say karma because Achilles is a fucking huge injury. Oh, but yeah. like I've always hated how much they carry on over one play, one tackle. Yeah, yeah. like you've scored a game winning touchdown. They just carry on so much, and I can't fathom it. And then to see a bloke try to run on the field early on in the on. game <laughs> to carry on, yeah, <laughs> snap your Achilles. It wasn't ball, even him that did anything. He did this nothing. Is, and this is we won't be able to sort this out today, so it's pointless. But I'm going to ask you <laughs> anyway. Um, in that position, is his Achilles about to snap from the next thing he does too? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. You think he just goes to run on, but what about when he runs on and then drifts yeah. off? Like you think, is it hanging on by a thread or how does that shit work? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, maybe yeah. the gods just went, You just fuck never you. know, eh, when yeah. you're fucking about to just... For sure. You know. Like it could have just been that certain movement, Whoa. but you, then you think he's definitely going <laughs> to do that at least once more in the was game. Was he on? Oh, yeah. Which team was he on? 49ers. 49ers. Oh, poor cunt. So lost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's one thing about it. I checked. I happened to check thinking, oh, Super Bowl's today. Looked at half time and I went, oh, yeah, 49ers. I heard a few people yeah. rooting for him. And then it was like the day after. I went, oh, I wonder who won. Had a look and I'm like, oh, yeah. the boys are coming It ended back. up being a good second half. The – um. It was good to see at the end. So they get like the head coach, the quarterback, and yeah. then a couple of others up on the big stage because they can't fit all fucking 3,000 of them up there. <laughs> yeah. And they present the trophy and they all ask a few questions. And um, the chief interviewer just sort of said to Mahomes, like, you won all your games throughout the playoffs and you were underdogs every time. And he just goes, there's one thing about the Kansas City Chiefs is we're never underdogs. And he said it like so – Fucking like serious, mm. and I'm going. That is a prime mentality, eh? Just going. Doesn't matter who on any day we will we will beat you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they did. No, I find it cringe cool. now. Did um, I've no. seen too much of him and Kelsey, and I just did. Uh, me Tay out. Swift just get an absolute peppering of a dome. Yeah, overs. It was, overs. It was, yeah. uh, Fifty-seven it? seconds of screen time in total. I think it was. I think the the, there was a few markets. About overs and yeah, they shit it in because it's so stop starty though. It was always going to fucking happen. Mm. Like oh, with that I sort actually of game. fucking because there wasn't much going on in the first half, offense wise. Yeah, I ha- found myself sitting there going, "Gee, I haven't seen much of the Swift." <laughs> <laughs> and then second half, man, it was just constant. Oh, like, true. Yeah, was she getting into her work? Oh yeah, she fucking necked the whole. Um, cup of wine and every time something happened they're jumping up and down like carrying on proper she doesn't just go there and watch she celebrates she knows the camera's on her she'll be at the g Mm. fucking this weekend i think Mm. starts the aussie tour so there'll be a hundred thousand there or more plus yeah it's fucking fucking psycho what these girls have done mate to try and get tickets like insane i'm talking i know more than one that i know so everyone would know at least someone who's done this. When they were trying to get tickets, they had like fucking three laptops, four phones already just to try and get a ticket. Yeah, <laughs> Ticket Tech was had such a fucking huge queue yeah. that they had to make sure they There was like nine-hour queues and shit, eight-hour queues. It would have been like the Red Reggie on this four-in-one drop. <laughs> <laughs> We love you, Grant. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, he's, he wouldn't. Is he still in the queue? You reckon? <laughs> <laughs> well, he just wasn't what? risking it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nah. So, yeah, talking about Taylor Swift again, beauty. Mm. Probably won't happen again. Though, um, so. Yeah, it won't. But I think we said off air that we think they're pretty overrated as athletes, NFL players. Yeah. Well, it's very um, like I might be wrong here, but. Because it's your stop after every play. There's no like long fitness that you need, is I there? I think like, there is because when they get like the eight, nine minute drives where it's constant, it's still stop starty though. Like you talk, <coughs> you look at a, and you don't want to always refer to NRL, but like just the game rugby league, I suppose, or you, AFL even more. But yeah. like, oh, but like AFL compare. is doesn't crazy, even but even NRL is a bit more comparable, <coughs> oh, I suppose. Oh, for sure. 
if you if the ball doesn't go out or something, and you get like five or six sets that you're defending, That'd be 10 that minutes. is fucking crazy compared to NFL stop every yeah, time. Yeah, like unions probably more. Compa- yeah, I don't bit, know. Yeah. I'll, I reckon the 100% biggest say that fitness wise, rugby league. You got to be way tougher, and you got to be way fucking fitter. Oh, way S- fitter. Skill, maybe in the NFL, like someone like a quarterback or a running back, they're pretty fucking good. Wide yeah. receivers, tight ends. Mm. But some of those blokes, if anyone tried to tell me that a big fucking linebacker is better than someone like Payne Haas in yeah. terms of skill and an athlete, fuck off. Oh, you got you're a probably just shoulder guards 160 on your- kilos and six foot six. That's why you're playing. Yeah. I reckon. The linemen, so like your offensive linemen, they're the ones that are in the front, like always wrestling. Yeah. They're probably, to me, I know they're big and fat, but that's hard, man, just constantly oh, wrestling. It yeah. would be. And bro. they're out there every play. They wouldn't be on a diet, those cunts, would they? It's nah. just stand oh, up man. and hold on, big fun. I actually saw a fucking thing. <laughs> There's some bloke did a bloody video of what a 300 pound, which is like, Fuck, what's that, 130 kilos or something? <coughs> yeah. 300 pound lineman eats at like a takeaway joint and yeah. he just Man. fucking loves it. Because it, it'd that just be, insane. it'd just be like heavy weights and just food. Eh? Yeah. Like, I want you to be the biggest fucking force you can cut yeah. and do not let that fucker pass. And they're you. the ones who are like, they were saying heaps that Kelsey and wide receivers and tight ends, they're always swapping in and out. Like yeah. each play, they might not be in this play, they're off and on and off and on. Whereas your linemen are on there every play. Yeah. But they don't have to move much. They're just wrestling. And you know how much wrestling sort of takes. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, like you said, Jace, the oh. fitness-wise, nah, but then you got your wide receivers and the de- the defenders of it's, the wide receivers. What it is, though, it's all like explosive power, though, eh? Yeah. yeah. NFL. It's like right 100% now yeah, for yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. boom. So, like, all their training would be short, explosive. That's why fucking, it's all when they go to the combine. Yeah. And it's all the 40 meter sprint mm. and how high can you jump and all that yeah, sort of shit. Because it's like the fucking just bang. You need yeah, to be yeah. that powerhouse. Yeah. And yeah. I'll give it to them. They got to be fucking cluey, man. Because oh, how many yeah. plays do they need to know? Oh yeah, like, that's a, I that get is... the quarterback needs to know them all, but if everyone needs to know them all, yeah, that's even um... when you're running, those big fatties <laughs> on the front line, <laughs> they need to know which way to go yeah. to provide the hole for the running back to go through. Like that's so actually many uh, plays. that's a good call. Yeah. Like, that's skill a lot wise, mental. One hundred percent say they are so fucking skillful in their own sport. But you're gonna compare athletes, rugby league. And any like athlete. Our, yeah, <laughs> any athlete, just pure athleticism, nah. Yeah. Rugby that, league, someone like Payne Arsa Tamalolo is a fucking way better athlete. That yeah, uh, yeah, co- yeah, coaching would be pretty full on with the NFL. Like you're, mm. you're, like the coach is really important. Like foot, like you're talking rugby league again. Sorry to go back to that. But like when you get to a certain level of rugby league, everyone knows the shape you're running. Mm. It's, it's very similar with all the plays. The halves make the decisions. People are running the same holes yeah. and shit. But those NFL plays, like – it's they've got to come up with what's going to work or come up with new shit. Yeah. Like it's that'd be a pretty fucking. Tough I think it'd be the same role. sort of thing though. If you're a wide receiver, there's only yeah. certain amount of routes you can run. You just need to know when to do it at what time mm. and shit like that. It's pretty whatever play they call. Like, you got to go right. I've got to do this. Yeah. You know, yeah, it, that would that side of it interests the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. Plus, cool. you got head coaches, offensive coach, defensive yeah. coach. So same many as the um, it. even on defense, they have a play for everything, mm. and they try. So it's all about trying to predict what the other team's going to run. Yeah, so that your defense is set up for it, <coughs> and that's the whole mind game. Is going, we've got this set of players on the field, right? They must be going to run this. So we'll set up this way. Yeah. Like it, that that part interests the fuck out of me. But mm. back to the athleticism, they're just – they're not anywhere near Not long-term sports. Fitness anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um, touched on the footy tips. We'll get it going by the end of the week, right? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. We'll and definitely get it going. I'll post the um, – the password or the whatever it is, it's going to be very similar to Deep Heat. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very similar to that. Um, we'll get into the squeeze of the week, boys. Fucking ice. We've touched on it. One of our biggest supporters. They've been with us since day one from the start. Standard squeeze team. Um, they were sick of the age-old issue. Mm. Glass camping. Breaking. That's right. 
having to take stuff everywhere, not being able to work out how many drinks you've had. We've all had that issue. Mm, we have. Not anymore. You've got the standard squeeze. Um, there's such such a variety on their website. You can get into your hat work, a shirt work, support them. There's eskies on there. There's heaps of stuff. It's fucking unreal. The to Legends see. actually did a cocktail the other day. The Reggie, yeah, they did. What was it? The Reggie, um, the rocket, Reggie's rocket fuel, rocket yeah, fuel. Yeah. and fuck me, a couple of those will <laughs> sit you on your <laughs> ass. But it just shows you though that they're supporting us as well, and it's a great, um, great thing to be a part of when you know. People yeah. who support us, we support them. It's a fucking good... Uh, and you should support them too. That's yeah, right. get around it. Get yourself a two-stroke and Coke. Reggie15 um, at checkout. Reggie15 at checkout. Thestandardsqueeze.com. That's where you go. Get around Ash and the team because, uh, yeah, we love uh, them supporting us. Fucking That's right. Um, Dre Greenlaw. Surely, yep. linebacker who think, snapped his Achilles. Yeah, <laughs> it has to be. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Just that is the absolute squeeziest thing. Mm. That'll probably happen this year. For sure. As soon <laughs> as I saw it, my literal first thought was squeeze. Didn't yeah. even have to yeah. think twice. Well, see, they didn't say too much on the coverage about what he was doing when he ran on. Yeah. I thought he was running on to, like, defend. But no, no. Just carrying on. Who <laughs> was running to carry on. Mm. Yep. <laughs> I've got an honourable mention for Squeeze. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we had the Waste Management Open PGA Tour event on the weekend. The Phoenix Open. We'll call yep. it the Phoenix Open. Everyone knows it for that whole whole. The party stadium. hole. It's like a stadium. The party hole. Much. It's a stadium. All because of Tiger Woods' hole in one in 1997. That's right. <laughs> and people go there, just get on the fucking piss. Similar to Live Adelaide, if mm. you've seen that, how they threw all the beers on. It's one of the holes where... You don't have to be quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can carry on. Yeah. So because everyone was just ripping and tearing, there was videos of blokes pissing themselves and um, they cut everyone off the piss on Saturday. Stop selling piss. What time was this? That's, that's a disgrace. Fucking a disgrace. I'm not sure on the exact time, but yeah. Take Saturday, it off, so they still had give some, it to those yeah. cunts. How do you cut everyone off? Oh, can you imagine the uproar? That's a joke. That's fucking. I hope no sure. one goes next year. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> they fucking know what the event is yeah. and everything about it. They, they people are coming just to get in the piss and dress up. Golf is piss. Yeah, yeah. That is what <laughs> golf is. Here it Synonymous. Is anyway. yeah, right. Synonymous. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, another great supporter of ours, CTC, Country Trucker Caps, and the Captain of the Week segment. Head to countrycompanies.com for the designs that the knuckles got ready to go, countrytruckercaps.com, to design your very own. You can design literally whatever you want and you'll make it. Um, yeah, big supporter of ours, legend of a bloke. Bloody Get behind oath. him. Um, I, I reckon Molly would have had this in mm, the bag if she won mm, the title. I'm just going, she yeah. probably deserves it to be the first woman to ever ride a 10-point ride at Pipeline, but she lost the final, so I don't know. Do it's we a pretty it? big moment and women's She still sport, stood though. up. Yeah, yeah. I reckon, because the other option's Maxi with his 120 knot. That's pretty um, good. Um, equaled the record. Yeah, five, that's pretty. Five centuries. Jeez, Maxi features heavily. In the uh, captain's second, I think he might have got two already, hadn't he? Yeah, oh, his yeah, World yeah. Cup stints, hundred percent. He got, he definitely got one for his double century well, look, in the mate, World Cup final. I'm fucking happy to give it to him. Like, it's, I'm they're, happy they're to give it to Molly as well because she doesn't have oh, the trophy. She didn't win, <laughs> but that's why she deserves captain. Maybe. Yeah. Well, oh, I, I'm yeah. Maxi Jace as well. It's all up to Grover. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to give. Just it Trying to, to you, avoid this. Mm. <laughs> no, it's all on you, mate. <laughs> well, look. For, to do to pioneer something mm. and to do something for the first time ever yeah, that's at an fair. elite level. That's fair. Molly. Yeah. yeah. On your mole. Maxi does this like it's nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was playing the West Indies. And he was in the green room. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's in the green, he was in the green room. <laughs> if he was in the green room the day before yeah. and Captain. done that hungover. <laughs> <laughs> Captain. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Oh, good well, stuff. Um, that's pretty much all we've got time for, I reckon, boys. Mm. Thanks for tuning in, Reggies, and we'll see you fucking Friday morning for the punch show. Fire up, boys. It's going to be a great weekend of sport. It's There's heaps of shit going on. We're about to rip in. Like, yeah. Sport yeah. is about to really get We're into its work. Bloody oath. We'll see you Friday morning. All, right. All the best.